He's a camping guy, so I know he doesn't bite. <laughs> Yeah, this is fun. And then that's the best part. Nice. <laughs> Breakfast was good? It was awesome. Good, good, good. Wait, can you bring some uh, A couple of them. Yeah, they're already up there. <laughs> Michael's got us on a tight schedule. All right, we're going to go ahead and kick off. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, we appreciate it. Definitely excited for the rest of the coming uh, days that are here in Wichita. Tech Tour, North American Tech Tour 2016 is in Wichita. Paul Singh is here with his wife, Dana. Um, we're very, very excited to get started. So um, I think without further ado, if you've seen yeah. a couple of our stuff, make sure and uh, keep following the vlogs and stuff. So. Yeah, man. Thanks Thanks man. <laughs> yeah, thank you. By the way, somebody tried to try this coffee with like jet fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to regret drinking this. You'll love it. If you ever find yourself at a point where you're doing the same thing as everybody else that's competing for your, your job or your customers, you can't do it anymore. Right? Like any time, if you ever wake up one day in your life and you're like, man, I gotta compete with all these other people trying to fight for my job or fight for this client I want, you gotta change the game. The only way to win in a crowded market is to just flip the table over and change the game. For anybody graduating WSU now, like, you better be ready to make a job. And we don't teach our kids to do that, right? One of the things you're gonna, if you ever wanna see me flip my shit, there's a lot of ways to see that. But like, try to tell me that innovation is what Wichita needs. Just try to tell me innovation. Like, people throw around this buzzword, especially elected officials. Elected officials will be like, well, we need more innovation. That's such bullshit, because that's a word you can throw out there and use and look smart, but there's no action item that comes out of that. They go innovate, what? What does that mean? I told you to innovate, what do you do? Entrepreneurship is, more, is what leads to innovation. So if nothing else, just start something. Just make a dollar, figure out how to make a thousand dollars and turn it into 10,000, but it, that's how you'll innovate. innovate. Innovation, I think, is a byproduct of entrepreneurship, not the other way around. The problem is, nobody's a big fucking deal in their hometown. Right. If I go to Ashburn, Virginia right now, I don't care what I've done, I don't care how good our portfolio is, if I go to Ashburn, like, Hey, there's that shithead that worked at Papa Joe's. <laughs> right? So, there's two reasons why I think tech companies are important. I think the first is that they change the way we work, right? So our parents all probably worked one job in their careers. Uh, you and I will probably all work four or five jobs through the arc of our career. But our children, our children are going to work four or five jobs at the same time. And if you want to see that starting to happen, just get in any Uber. Get in any Uber, I don't care what city, just get in any Uber or Lyft and ask the guy what else he has. Right? And, and it's because of that like, if you learn nothing else, if you think of nothing else, if, if there's only one idea I can plant in your head today and over the course of the next three days, it's that every single one of you has to be an entrepreneur if you, wanna, if you want to uh, uh, continue to be valuable to the world, right? And, and on the flip side of that coin, being an entrepreneur does not mean you have to be a founder. You can, you can be at some big company down the street in a cubicle and be thinking like an entrepreneur. And when you leave here, I don't care which side of it on, if you decide to start your company or if you decide to like, you know, do a side hustle while you're working somewhere else, your one goal, your one goal leaving this week is to try to figure out how to make $1,000 a month. That's it. Like, don't waste time trying to get advice. Don't screw around on the internet, you know, don't, don't do any of that stuff. Just try to sell one thing to one person you don't know, and then you repeat it, and then you repeat it. That's how it works. On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> so we got Paul Singh, Ed, 
Dana out here in Wichita. Be sure and continue to follow us. Try to catch us. We're building small pockets and doing some creative collisions all around Wichita. ICT, you deserve this. Clutch Studio is bringing it to make sure that anybody and everybody who's looking to start their business, who's interested in raising some capital, or who's interested in just getting some real, true business advice. Paul Singh's here to kick the damn table over to make sure that if you've got a business, you can have the capital. If you don't got one, then get back to work. Hustle 24-7, Clutch Studio. It's not about how much money they're gonna make. It's all based off of fast speed and growth of a company. And what he had was the ability to say, I've got hardware and I've unloaded a million dollars worth of hardware, but just wait, I've got software that's attached to that hardware that's gonna make us that recurring yeah. revenue. Boom, and he got, I was like, Woo. I think you missed the part in uh, Paul's original talk when they said, we don't, if you are making a profit, like we want you to exit before you make a profit. Because exactly. if you're making a profit, there's a cheaper way for you to get capital than through us. Yep. Like we're yep. unneeded if you're a profitable, bit, profitable business. Yep. Oh man, it's so solid. That dude from New York is so smart. That he, he is for sure. He's he's straight to the point, yeah. but he's extremely. He has smart. that New York mentality, but he's so smart when he talks about it. Yeah. What the Five Guys guy? Yeah. Where is? Oh hey, Five Guys. Five guys are there's just so many views on the machine. Donut shop, man. I, I literally could live without veggies. <laughs> Those guys are gonna figure it out and be fine. You know what I mean? Cool. So you guys should like be like super, super excited about that. Now go 10x that. And if you need money, we'll figure it out. But like let's just go 10x that. Right? Keep growing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It doesn't tell you whether or not it's a good company or a bad company or a fundable company or not a fundable company. It just tells you if the company is uh, got their shit together. By the way, uh, everybody say hi to Chris Hively, who just joined us. And then, uh, I guess we're gonna... so, so, were you going to All right, we'll see you in a bit. Uh, yeah. 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 the big pieces around here, one of the main philosophies is customer focus, and that's everybody. So a market is anywhere that trade occurs, so here we are, we're trading time and attention, right, for the chance that we might learn something. There's really no money changing hands here, and, and time is money. So let's get rolling, but um, one of the things about that is there aren't 
really departments here. Yeah. As much as they could, whenever they possibly could, they made a company out of it. So you find these little core capabilities and you build a company around it, and then you create an internal marketplace where they're exchanging with those capabilities. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it's amazing, and that's not anything revolutionary that's happening all over the place, but yeah. these folks, Coke Industries got to it in the 80s, and yeah. it was as a result of philosophy and economic thinking and seeing what makes um, societies prosper, right? What makes societies prosper is entrepreneurship and, and access to solid markets and resources that you need. So then they just took and turned it into on, on themselves and the firm, and what we have is, is Coke Industries at large. That's cool. Be inquisitive, don't be overambitious, and stay humble, bro. DJ Collins said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. Yeah, please! <laughs>
So this is the landing floor of s and Media. That's awesome. <laughs> She's so awesome. Built our firm on the idea that you didn't have to be in Silicon Valley, and so yeah. we invested everywhere else. Yeah. And um, and then this year we decided that we wanted to kind of keep doing that, but also live in the city for a week at a time. Yeah. And so that's why we got the RV and then drive around. Yeah. Um, and so I was just saying uh, in the it's getting out on the port. Mm -hmm. This is eight. Oh, eight. Yep. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I was just saying, like, I shouldn't be surprised yeah. that that you know, meaningful companies are building big things in yeah. out of the way places. But every city we go to, it's just it never ceases to surprise you. Yeah. And again, I feel weird because I shouldn't be surprised, <laughs> right? Um, but it was cool. Like we, you know. We didn't know, I didn't know what we were walking into. And the website's not, at least for no, my like, website's not doing the job for Well, it, yeah. it's probably intentional, right? I think, no, <laughs> I, I think it could use work, but nobody's worried about it right yeah, now. I think it's much business. Yeah, they, yeah. Um, yeah. they are struggling to keep up with their yeah. clients more than... But I'll tell you, like, the thing that I think a lot about, and I don't know how to solve this, but, like, you know, we're hopeful that through capturing some of this stuff, we can tell the story yeah. of SNT and tell the story of Wichita outside. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to try to like. A lot of guys that want to be uh, have a really good and enjoyable job in the Midwest feel sometimes like they got to go to a bigger mm -hmm. city to mm -hmm. find something that's uh, competitive and yeah. appealing to them. Yeah. And I think this offers a unique opportunity Absolutely. for young programmers who Absolutely. may not want to have to go to California or Absolutely. some much higher cost of living Absolutely. location because yeah. here uh, your Absolutely. salary goes a long way. And if, yeah, if they're born and raised here, they usually come back. I've, yeah. I've seen them. Yeah, all that's why Kevin is here. He's yeah. born yeah. in Moldane and yeah. they'll even come yeah. right back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just really I mean, frankly, when you go out to raise money, you should go on AngelList, look at the eSports vertical, right? And look at who's investing, who's actually writing checks. Those are the people you're going after. Your local angel group is probably not gonna get this, right? Your like, that's just how it is. But just the telltale sign for me, the red flag is you were explaining the industry a lot, um, which is, it's just not a good idea. Take a look at some other funded pitch decks. So. Um, like one third of all the pitch decks that are funded by 500 startups are published online. Mm -hmm. So if you go to like slideshare.net slash 500 startups, you can see a thousand pitch decks there. Um, and, and these are all people that got funded. Now, they're not competitors to you or anything, but like I would just look at it and, and use that as a template uh, mm -hmm. or use those as a template. Um, and the last thing I would just say is like, look, this is a big market. And the thing you gotta like remember is that um, and I'm only telling you this because you want to raise money. Like, if you choose to raise money, your ambition is to be the number one or number two player for the industry, right? Like, you gotta have that big of an ambition, and it should it should show. Um, but to your point, you know, I know mm -hmm. like when you're in college, whatever you're thinking about, like explain the market, whatever. I guess all I'm just saying is, aim high, aim really, really high, because these are winner take all markets. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> 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 How many ribbons you gonna cut, man? This is it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm ribbing. You want a couple words? No, we're good. We gotta do like MTV Cribs. It's like, yeah. yo, man, listen. Walk into my house. This is where the, this is where <laughs> the sound, magic happens. You sound right? like a Ma Macy Gray. That's who you sound like, Macy Gray. Like Macy Gray. Macy Gray. But this is where the magic happens. Are you good?
Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. sure. This right here, here the magic happens, right here. This dog. Yes! Hi, Jack. Okay, hold on. He's gonna get Bruce. That's Bruce. Welcome to Bruce. So it's been a wonderful week. Once again, Clutch Studio has brought Paul Singh and the Results Junkies to Tech Tour. We're blessed. Thank you very much to all the sponsors. Thank you very much to every single individual who came out. Make sure you guys continue to watch all the vlogs. Make sure you guys continue to stay tuned to what's happening with Clutch Studio in 2017. It's been a successful past three days. Thank you very much.